Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's time to have a chat about Enlisted, uh, because Enlisted has a really cool April Fool's event. And if you have enjoyed COD Zombies as much as I have in the past, it's time for you to give Enlisted a go and uh, get into it. Enlisted is a pretty standard game uh, when it comes to its PvP setup. Unfortunately, they've power crept it to all hell, which means that uh, it's very tough to play certain parts of the game, unless you have specific equipment, which I suppose you can grind. But one of the areas that I've always thought it could excel in is the idea of PvE or co-op. The fact is, Enlisted is built around a core mechanic which you don't find anywhere else in gaming. It is that you manage a squad, that squad has different mechanics, and you can quick switch between them as you go around. You can also do this with multiple other players, meaning that even if you only have 10 players in a battle, technically, or uh, 10 versus 10, let's say, um, that actually isn't just 10 people versus 10 people, that is 90 versus 90, or 60 versus 90, or whatever it is, because you are controlling multiple people at the same time. Now, what this does is it gives you a lot of data on how to improve AI and also how, at the same time, to make it more fair for everybody to go around. And this means that you have a great platform to be able to gather the data you need to make a really cool co-op game or a really cool PvE game. And what we've seen from the enlisted kind of zombies event uh, is that this is possible. They've put so much time into this one. The models look fantastic from the, you know, zombies coming in. There are a bunch of different types of zombies at the same time. And since they've added a ton of mechanics to the game over the years, it works incredibly well. I've got a feeling that this event will spark a lot of people's interest once again in Enlisted, and as it should, because it's incredibly fun to play and really enjoyable to kind of go around and have a good time with. And you should give it a go if you are are a fan of stuff like zombie stuff. One of the uh, things, at least for me, that I've been a fan of for many years is stuff like Killing Floor and also other games which are incredibly similar. The idea of getting a group of people together to be able to take on a horde of enemies as you go around has always been very appealing to me, especially in a PvE setup. I feel like in a lot of PvP setups, what ends up happening is people just figure out the metas and then just do that over and over and over again. Whereas, unless you want to be like a really high-end sweaty PvE player, you don't need to do that. You know, you can try a bunch of different things, you can see what works, and there's a little bit more chance of uh, variety, which is pretty cool. And the way that this enlisted work uh, event works is pretty simple. You know, you spawn in, you have a classic Mosin, and then you have, you know, the random box that you can get stuff out of. You got medic kits, you got grenades, you got pistols, and then you have the standard weapons that you can pick up too. It gives you a bunch of different options uh, to be able to play with, and also you have to manage your resources, which you get points from kills, and then there is a ton of different enemy types that you have to deal with at the same time. And the variety of enemy types is amazing, and I'm hoping that they will expand on this mode because of the amount of work that they put into it, and also how fun it is. Just to give you an idea of uh, the enemy types that I've seen, first of all, like every wave, it seems like they increase in speed, so they're just incredibly fast by the end, but you've got the standard zombie, then you have ones with guns, whether it be rifles or, you know, SMGs <laughs> which run around. You have enemies which have panzerfausts and stern pistols, which can just donk you, so you've got to be careful of that. You've got paratroopers that come in, you have pilots which literally have a um, propeller attached to them, and they go really fast, so you've got to watch out for those. You've got a bunch of, like, standard Standard zombies which hold stuff in front of themselves so therefore penetration of your guns actually matters so you know they hold like metal shields or they hold wheels or they hold like cardboard things you have enemies which you know when you shoot they explode and you know obviously create an issue you have enemies that literally carry bombs that if you shoot the bomb it will blow you up but if you shoot the bomb for far enough away you'll be able to annihilate a bunch of enemies there is also tanks 
zombie tanks, which you have to deal with at the same time if you are able to get up to level 25. I've got to be honest, it has been a thrilling and fantastic experience, and as a person who has played a lot of Enlisted over the years and took a decent break from it, this has reinvigorated, you know, my love for Enlisted. One of the great things about it is the team play, is the co-op nature of it, and also just how the guns feel and how the sounds work. The sound design in this event is as good as the rest of the game, which is fantastic too, and that should never be forgotten about Enlisted. I feel like a lot of the time, uh, we always focus on kind of the negatives of Enlisted. You know, obviously they had the bad Steam release, which came out more recently. But Enlisted has a ton of positives too. And one of them is, of course, the systems that they built around their unique mechanics. But all I can say is just give it a go. It's a lot of fun. There's a leaderboard. So if you get in, I think, the top 10%, you get a unique uh, profile picture. There's also other rewards that you can just grind out by killing zombies and then also uh, getting up to different waves. It doesn't give you any research to your standard like tech tree stuff for Enlisted, but they are obviously quite similar separate so it just kind of is how it is and I've got to be honest this is really just as I said invigorated um, me to play more of Enlisted which is good this is what these types of events should do contrasting it to the War Thunder event the War Thunder event is visually stunning everything looks beautiful everything is really nice but at the same time, it is nowhere near as interesting as uh, the enlisted one. The enlisted one is quick action, uh, you know, bang, 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 got to keep going, got to keep smashing stuff up, and it just feels really good. Another thing to also mention about uh, the enlisted one is there is a unique uh, tank camo, uh, which you can get for the Panzer 4 J. It is kind of the destroyed camo that is there. And if you want to pick up anything for enlisted, you can check out the links in the description. I have a partner. Um, I have a partner set up with enlisted so you can, you know, be able to get yourself a discount on anything that is there. But just give it a go. Hopefully they expand upon it. I mean, they could obviously add more maps in the future since they have, you know, set up all of the general stuff, which is quite nice. They could add mines. Mines would be quite nice. Also stuff like engineering they could add. That because of all of the mechanics in Enlisted, this could easily become the next COD Zombies. They could easily expand upon this and just make a fantastic set of game modes around this, put a ton of effort into it, and just have a really good time. I feel like over the last period, we haven't had a really great PvE experience apart from Helldivers, which has come out. And from a first person point of view, from a zombie's point of view, there is quite a lot of competition in the market, but it doesn't mean it can't be done. Imagine if you have just a universe picture or a world picture where you are fighting a bunch of guys all over the place and what you have to do is you have to obviously survive and you have to be able to kind of fight back and, you know, try and stop the zombie hordes and every action that you take in the game actually adds to this. You know, this idea of this grand scale, this overlord of what's going on. You could do upgrades, you could do a ton of different stuff. This could all be its own unique game. And since they put so much effort into it already, and it's really fun, and it's once again fitting that enlisted method where, you know, you log in, you play 30 minutes to an hour, and then you're done, and then, you know, you try the next thing, and then you keep going from there. You could just have a really, really good time with this, and it could be incredibly prolific, which would be fantastic. So hopefully going forward, uh, we can see stuff like this. Uh, hopefully we can see an expansion of it because it has me very hopeful for at least this part of Enlisted. As always, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Tulio Ponticovo, Brendan Quinn, Carrion Crow, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Wartinder, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, B. Young, Alan Hacker, Ozzy Panzer, Liam Shear, Opium Prime, Lafouche, Cam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.